guys welcome to Audrey's reading area I had a little bit of a um, technical difficulty so I had to restart this video but thank you for being here thank you for returning thank you for listening don't forget to click that like and that share button yes I'm gonna shout out my grandbabies Korea Sana, David the third and Kaden I love you I miss you so much so you guys don't forget go on over to YouTube and smash that subscribe button for me smash it up well I am going to, uh, it's been a minute since I read one of these Ripley's Believe It or Not books. Strikingly true. It's been a hot minute. It's a long time since I read one of these. Today's Educational Tuesday. Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area live at 8 o'clock p.m. L-I-V-E. Live at 8, you guys. All right, all right, all right. Yes, yeah, so I have a Ripley's Believe It or Not book that I'll be reading to you, of course. We don't have enough time to read the whole book, but we're going to get some stuff in here. There, it's, it's, it's some strange, there's some strange things in this book. It's unbelievably weird. It says, meet the man who chews molten lead, a cat that can predict death, a vending machine that dispenses live crabs, an artist who paints portraits with burger grease, who even thinks of that? I, I don't know. And many, many more from the weird world of Ripley's. Ripley, believe it or not. And it says that it is published by, it doesn't really have, I didn't see um, uh, a writer or, you know, one who took these pictures. It's probably multiple people, um, multiple people collecting these things for Ripley's publishing. Executive VP is Norm Deska. VP ex uh, Exhibits and Archives is Edward Meyer, or Meyer, publisher and Marshall. So we got Ripley's Believe It or Not. I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to read some of these things. I'm going to do, we're going to do body today. Body on this Educational Tuesday. Educational Tuesday. Let's just jump right into this book and see what kind of weird disgusting gross little things we can see b believe it or not about the body so this is the terminator i don't know if you remember the movie the terminator let's see what this says about him in 2011 ripley's acquired a life-size statue of Ar arnold schwarzenegger as the terminator created by mexican artist enrique ramos made from an assortment of materials including a dead a what? A dead bat. It really says a dead bat. The sculpture is a tribute to Hollywood films and icons and features images of Spider-Man, Homer Simpson, E.T., Jaws, and Frankenstein, am among others. So if you look at this closely, wow, you'll see, and here's the Frankenstein one that they were talking about, right? You'll see different things on there. Wow, and it looks just like the Terminator. So that was pretty cool. Then we have, got a lot of weird things on this page, but this is the guy with the longest tongue ever recorded. It says, lick off. It says, actor Nick Af Afanasiv from California has an incredible role all to himself. As the owner of America's longest tongue, stretching to an unbelievably 3.5 inches, it means that Nick can lick his own nose. Now I'm far from that. He can lick his own nose and even his elbow, a bizarre feat that most people find impossible. So this is the guy with the longest tongue. Yes. Blood, sweat, and tears. Look at this one here. Blood, sweat, and tears. Twinkle uh, Dwivedi from Lucknow, India, is one of the strangest and rarest medical cases in the world. From the age of 12, Twinkle began to bleed at random through the skin or on any part of her body without any visible wounds or pain. From the soles of her feet to her eyes, although the cause of her spontaneous bleeding remains a mystery, Experts believe that she may suffer from a blood disorder or hematohydris 
hematohydrosis, an extremely rare but recognized condition where the patient sweats blood through the skin. Oh my. Oh my. I told you we're going to see some interesting things in this book. Ripley's Believe It or Not. So this is a bicycle made for two. A bicycle made for two. It says, although Charles B. Tripp has no arms and Eli Bowen has no legs, they were able to ride a bicycle together. Together. Known to circus audiences as the armless wonder and the legless wonder, they simply combined their physical attributes on a tandem bicycle. So they combined, he has no arms, he has no legs. They went together on a bicycle built for two. So he steered, he pedaled. Okay? Okay? Chip pedaling with his leg. It says, um, they simply combined their physical attributes on a ten tandem bicycle. Chip pedaling with his legs and Bowen steering with his arms. Okay. Look at this lady here. Look at this one. So let me see what this says about her. Julia Gnus of Foothill Ranch, California, got her first tattoo to cover unsightly blisters on her legs. But she became hooked and now has tattoos over 95% of her body, including her face. Known as the Illustrated Lady, her body drawings include jungle scenes, cartoons, and the cast of Bewitched, that TV show, Bewitched. Okay. Whoa, magnetic fingers, really? Magnetic fingers. Magnetic, I'm gonna say that again. Magnetic fingers. By having tiny magnetic implants inserted in their fingers, people are able to pick up metal items such as paper clips or bottle tops seemingly by magic. Some people have even had mag magnets inserted in the backs of their hands or on their ears. Woo child. Okay. To each his own. Magnetic fingers. Wow. Interesting, huh? So let me turn the page and see. I don't even want to, I don't even want to read this one. Belly button beers. Belly button beers. See the belly button beers? It says, artist Raquel Betty Case from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania turns belly button fluff into tiny beers. She collects the lint from the belly buttons of male friends and sells her cute fluffy creations in small glass jars. Belly button. Belly button lint. Did you hear me? She, she gets the lint out of belly buttons and she creates these things and makes them. Okie dokie. Now check this out. Too many toes, too many toes. They even have the, the x-rays of the, the feet with the bones. Too many toes in 2010. Doctors at a hospital in Shenyang, China operated on a six year old boy who had eight toes on each foot and 15 fingers owing to a rare genetic mutation known as central polydactyly after a six and a half hour operation, medics had successfully removed 11 extra digits. Wow. Look at the toes. Count them. OMG. So this is, um, this one is after the operation. OMG. Look at this. The x-rays. I told you we're going to see some incredible things incredible let's see let's see Ooh, child self styled y'all got you ready for this one are you ready are you ready okie dokie okie dokie self styled etienne dumont 
a journalist from Geneva, Switzerland, has some of the most stunning body modifications in the world. He is tattooed from head to toe with vibrant images, including skulls, flowers, and animals. But most striking are the designs covering his face and a hole stretched in his chin. This looks painful. A hole stretched in his chin, held open by a transparent disc. Ugh, I'm in pain. Through which you can see his teeth. He also has a synthetic horn implant protruding from his scalp. Ooh, child. And has also used progressively larger discs to stretch his earlobes a horn protruding from his scalp. This is his chin. So it's almost like he can't close his mouth. Things flying around, just boop, right in, I'm sorry, right in there, right? Right in there. I'm just saying, well, I guess you have to cover it up. That's interesting. So we have a lady with the longest locks. Look at her locks. This is her hair. Look at that. That's her hair. Long locks. Asha Mandela from Claremont, Florida, has hair that measures an incredible 19 feet 6 inches, longer than a pickup truck. Asha has not cut her hair for an astonishing 22 years. All right. Hmm. Oh. Well, there's two things to show you. Let me sh first show you the human skeleton. Human skeleton. Can you see him? It says, billed as a skeleton dude at Coney Island's Dreamland Circus in 1917, Eddie Masher of Brooklyn, New York, stood five feet seven inches. Five feet, seven inches tall, but he declared he weighed just 38 pounds. Woo! Other records have put him at 48 pounds, or as much as 67 pounds, but even though those weights were astonishingly light for an adult man, he was so skinny that Taylor struggled to make a suit that would fit him. He died in 1962 at 70 years old. I guess that's a good, it says a good age for a skeleton. Wow. And then we have this twisted tiger. Now y'all know I love tigers, right? This is a uh, some sort of twisted tiger. It's two people by the way. Two people. It says double contortionist. A contortionist is one who can bend their body up all like wrap their arm around and and stuff. Like they can bend their body, their muscles are just so flexible. They can just bend all sorts of different kind of ways. So double contortionists, Hassani Mohammed, right? And Lazarus Mwangi of Cirque, Mother Africa, bent, bent over backward to entertain the audience at a show in Hamilton, New Zealand. Wow. Interesting. Okay, let's check out this big baby over here. This one here, that's a baby on her back. That's a baby. Let me read this. It says, at age two years old. Did you hear me? Two years old. Two years old. Fan Xia of Yuchen City, uh, Shanghai Province, China was three foot seven in inches tall and weighed 100 pounds, about four times the average weight for a girl her age. It's a big girl, two years old. This one here in the blue, two years old, big girl. Okie dokie. 
Oh, wow. Major Might. This is a guy age 20 years old. He weighed 20 pounds, height 26 inches. Look how little the guy is. Little. Look at him on a motorcycle. Look at him standing next to someone. He's a short dude. He's a little guy. Oh. So, you can pause and read. Pause and read. Pause and read. Because we got a lot in this book to show you. So a lot going on. Let's see. Beautiful bite. You ready for this? Hmm. Beautiful bite. It says to enhance their beauty. Woman in the Mentawai Islands of Indonesia have their teeth filed into sharp points. The unusual rite of passage in which the teeth are chiseled into shape with no anesthetic, like they don't put stuff in it to numb it. Yeah, they just, oh my goodness. Conforms to the local opinions of beauty rather than any practical purpose. Observers have commented that Mental, mental eye women seem to feel no pain during the process and that they willingly undergo the rit ritual. It's supposed to be beautiful in their, um, within their, their people. Okay. Wow. So I am looking through here to find more stuff for you. This is some interesting stuff, huh? Uh-oh. Tattooed mom. Tattooed mom. Isn't that interesting? Look at that. Can you see the details? She's not only tattooed, but she's a pierced up mom too. So it says, Bishop's daughter and mother of three, Jinxy Boo, from Southern California, has almost... Her entire body covered in tattoos. She has a tattoo of a black and white dairy cow because she's vegan. I thought you would have like vegetables on you if you were vegan. Portraits of her family and her favorite musicians, Gwen Stefani, Bajork, Cindy Lauper, and Meg White, plus a spectacular octopus tattoo across her throat and chest that took 26 hours to complete. A trip to Disneyland as a teenager inspired her love of tattoos, but she did not have her first design, a small cherry on her ankle, until she was 30. This is interesting. Look at that. Free thinker. She's got, she's got some stuff on her. Wow. Let me show you this mini man they have over here. Mini man. Believe it or not, it's a mini man. Can you see it? It says, at age 22, Wu Ken from Wuhan, Wuhan, China, wears the clothes of a nine-month-old toddler and stands just under two foot three inches tall. Wow. Wu suffers from panhypopituitarism, which decreases the secretion of hormones, including growth hormones, produced by the pituitary, pituitary gland in the brain. Oh, wow. He wears the size clothes of a nine-month-old baby. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Mm. I'm going to read this. Hold tight. Dissecting Dad. Dissecting Dad. It says, to help teach anatomy to his students, Dr. Mahantesh Ramanavar dissected the body of his father. Dr. Bas Basavanapa Ramanavar, which had been embalmed for exactly two years. So it had been embalmed for two years. His father had specified in his will that his body should be donated to the university in Belgium, India, where his son worked, and that 
his son should perform the dissection, which was shown live on Indian TV. Wow. Imagine dissecting your own father, but okay. We're going to see this tall teen. Look at the tall teen. Do you see how tall she is? Let's see. So at age 14, Brazilian teenager Elisani Silver towers over her sisters because she is already six foot nine. 14 years old, six foot nine inches tall. Wow. She is so tall that she had to stop going to school because she could not fit on the bus. Oh, wow. Medical experts believe she could be suffering from gigantism. Duh, right? A condition in which the body produces excessive amounts of growth hormones. If left untreated, she could continue to grow up to six inches more per year. Wow. Wow. She's only 14 years old. Tall. Uh-oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you two things on this next page. Join the dots. Join the dots. So they got tattoo of their dots so you can write on it and join the dots. I don't know. That would probably be a good thing for people that get bored easily, right? It says inspired by the idea of getting her birthmarks numbered, Colleen AF uh Venable from New York City has a connect the dot tattoo that creates the shape of a giraffe on her le left leg. Do you see? Do you see? Connect the dots. Now this one is interesting. I'm going to read this to you before I show you the picture. Furry features. Furry features. Supatra uh, Saspufan from Bangkok, Thailand, was born with Ambrose Sim Syndrome. Ambrose Syndrome, or congenital hypertrichosis. It's a rare genetic disease that causes excessive hair growth, excessive hair growth on the face and other parts of the body. It affects one person in a billion, and there are fewer than 40 known cases in the world. There is no permanent care cure for the condition, but nine-year-old Supatra doesn't let it affect her life and enjoys the same activities as her school friends. She hopes eventually to become a teacher. A teacher. Oh, she just looks like a sweetheart, but she's got this syndrome with all the hair. Look at the hair growing on her face. Oh, wow. Interesting. I'm so glad that she has friends. Yeah, because the kids could be so mean sometimes. Well, that's the end of this one. Thanks for watching, Ripley's Believe It or Not, Strikingly True. Thanks for watching. I did the body this time. Well, you guys, all right, all right, all right. Let me see who's on here. Shout out to... Uh, my friend Mark Harold. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And thanks for the compliment. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, you guys, it is about that time. Time to go. Don't forget, click like and share this video. Don't forget to go to YouTube and smash that subscribe button for me. I'm trying to make a thousand. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I got like 921 or something like that. So, you guys, don't forget, go on over there. And subscribe for me. Subscribe, subscribe. Well, all right, all right, all right, you guys. I will see you soon. Shout out to my mom. Shout out to my people who share my video. Shout out to all of you out there that are listening to me read all these fun and exciting books. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you for your love and your support. And thank you for clicking like and subscribe here at Audrey's Reading Area. All right, all right, all right. I will see you tomorrow live, L-I-V-E, live at 8. See you soon.